The Green Scare actions really started back in 1997 through 2001. They were a series of economic sabotage that used arson to target kind of a mix of private corporations as well as government targets. All the FBI agents that had been sent out in the late 90s to infiltrate and mess with Oregon in particular were completely unsuccessful. And then 10 years later, one of the Earth Liberation Front co-conspirators who had been a longtime heroin addict succumbed to the addiction and his own paranoia by walking into the FBI office and basically saying, you know, if you pay me $150,000 and promise that I don't go to jail, I'll tell you everything I know. And he became a snitch for them. He wore a wire all around the country attempting to entrap his co-conspirators and it was the first crack in the case and it was a major crack. All of a sudden in December of 2005 the largest roundup of environmental and animal rights activists occurred and then slowly but surely one after the other became snitches for the government. The bottom line is that even though these people were facing life plus 1,115 years in jail they ended up doing between three and years in prison. Non-cooperating defendants basically got an additional penalty of an extra 18 months in prison compared to their similarly situated snitch co-defendants. So the tax for being able to morally and ethically look people in the eye and say, I am not a snitch, I'm not a government informant, that was a tax of 18 months of extra time in jail, which all of them were more than willing to serve in order to be able to return to their communities and return to the movements that they literally risked their lives for.